The Boston Celtics are the best team in the Eastern Conference, and I'm going to tell you why. The Milwaukee Bucks might be the best regular season team in basketball, but I like the Boston Celtics and the Toronto Raptors much more once you get to the big dance. Look at the Boston Celtics and the Toronto Raptors. The two best players on both these teams are Jason Tatum in Boston and Pascal Siakam in Toronto. When you do a deep dive into the numbers, Tatum and Siakam had mirror images for their numbers in the regular season from their point averages all the way to their team usage. Everything was just eerily similar. When you look at how the series has gone so far, you're seeing why one is considered a superstar in the NBA and the other is one on the cusp but isn't quite there yet in Siakam. So let's look at why Tatum has emerged as a superstar and why Siakam is having trouble being the guy in Toronto right now. The pick and roll was super important for Tatum's offense this year. He cut down on the mid-range jump shots and it has paid dividends for him in his ultimate success. Another emergence in Tatum's game this season came from his ability to finish well through contact. It's something his teammate Jalen Brown does extremely well and I think both their games are finally complementing each other in many different facets on the court. I really think Tatum and Brown have both learned key aspects of one another's games this year to help each other out on the court. Brown has always had an elite first step and takes contact just about as well as anyone in the association and we're seeing Tatum utilize that a lot more in his game. Tatum's three-point shot was very efficient this year shooting over 38% from beyond the arc including 47% from three-point land off the pick and roll. His game has evolved so much this year and there's now many different ways that he can score. He's been a very difficult task for opposing defenses to try and solve and there's no doubt he is now considered a superstar in the NBA. When you're looking for a big reason why the Celtics are currently up 2-0 on the defending NBA champions, look no further than Jason Tatum. Well, there is little doubt Kyrie Irving is a fantastic basketball player and one of the best shooters and ball handlers in the NBA, but Irving's departure from Boston continues to be a positive for the Boston Celtics, especially for its young, growing stars. The addition of Kemba Walker this offseason was a great one for the Boston Celtics for many reasons, even if he doesn't present the same skill set that Kyrie Irving did for the Celtics. The type of teammate that Walker is compared to that of Irving is an astronomical benefit to this young impressionable Celtics team. The Celtics and those around the organization will tell you there is a big difference around this team compared to last year and the big reason for that is because of the departure of Kyrie Irving. Now another positive is that Jalen Brown is finally getting a chance to showcase his talents in a big role for the Celtics. He's seen a big bump in his usage this season going up to nearly 25% for the first time in his career. Both Brown and Tatum saw big jumps in their usage this season because of the departures of Irving and Al Horford, and it's paid dividends for the young Celtics. You look at a team that is very well coached under Brad Stevens, and one that was top 5 in efficiency on both offense and defense, and you start to get a gist of why I am so high on this Boston Celtics team. All in all, I just don't trust the Milwaukee Bucks. I like the youth of the Miami Heat, but if the Celtics can continue to handle their business against the Toronto Raptors and get Gordon Hayward back for their finals run, I see no reason why the Boston Celtics aren't the best team in the Eastern Conference. That's it for me from Cook's Corner today. I'm Zach Cook. We'll see you later.